So this show is all about the Facebook first party cookies pixel thing update. So what the hell is all this about? Um, so you're probably here because you've got an email in your inbox uh, reading along the lines of on the 24th of October, Facebook will begin offering businesses a first party cookie option with the Facebook pixel. This change is in line with updates made by other online platforms, Google Analytics, Google Ads, etc., etc., um, as use of first party cookies for ads and site analytics is becoming the preferred approach for some browsers. Subtext um, Some browsers, uh, Safari, Firefox, and a number of others, are blocking uh, now third party cookies. So, third party cookies are um, as you might imagine, cookies created in the third person. Think of it that way. So Facebook uh, can use the pixel on your website to create cookies um, for itself. So um, you're not going. The user isn't going to Facebook and getting a cookie. They're coming to your website and getting a Facebook cookie. Um, and uh, basically, those are being blocked, which means that. Um, Facebook, uh, people who things like remarketing audiences, things like that, it's only getting about 50% of the users, um, maybe more, maybe less, but it's a big chunk of users, right? So uh, Facebook has had to act to create this first party uh, cookie option. So my first thought was, uh, well, um, Facebook Pixel, do I have to update this? Um, so I hunted high and low, spent about an hour or so scouring the web, scouring Facebook, uh, Facebook's help, which is, as usual, not very helpful, um, and couldn't find anywhere that said that uh, you needed to update your Facebook Pixel, um, which sounds, you know, sensible, but um, checking through a number of sites and checking the Facebook Pixel that was being used, I did discover that quite a lot of them um, were using an old version of the Pixel, and there is a new version now, so um, if we have a look at those Pixels side by side, uh, they look a little bit like this, so you can see that they do look very different, and if you go to your site, check out the pixel that you're using, um, you'll be able to hopefully see one or the other and understand um, which one you're using. So I would recommend that you update to the latest pixel, um, and uh, remember to check whether you're using like custom events, things like that as well, um, just to make sure that they're all still working correctly. So where do you find your Facebook pixel and check? Head into business.facebook.com, uh, open out the menu, all tools, and you'll find in events manager, you'll find pixels. If you click through there, uh, then you'll end up on a screen that looks a bit like this one, and you'll be able to firstly get early access. Um, you're gonna get opted in on the 24th of October anyway. Nothing is going to break, um, and the Pixel now will use first and third party cookies, so you'll kind of get the best of both. So where third party cookies are still allowed, you'll get that data, and uh, where they're not, you'll get the first party data anyway. So um, you don't need to do anything today, but you might wanna opt in early and get some more data. I know I would. Um, so the next thing to look at is, uh, where do we get that Pixel code then? So if you head into setup, you can take a look and there is your code. Um, and then you can email that to somebody if you like. Um, and uh, what Facebook's also doing, and this is really neat, just to make this really easy for you, um, you can go through one of the integrations they've got with all these lovely systems. Uh, so you've got WordPress, PrestaShop, uh, WooCommerce, Shopify, Magento, awesome. Uh, we're big fans of Google Tag Manager here at Tillerson Consulting. so. Um, you can click on that option. It'll ask you just give permission in the normal way um, and it will drop that in as a custom HTML tag into Tag Manager and that's it, kind of done. You know, that, that's all you need to do. Um, pretty pretty clever, um, pretty neat. So that's really easy. Um, if you do have some questions about this, by the way, if you're stuck, um, you know, if your pixel looks a bit odd or you don't know how to install it or whatever, do ask some questions in the comments. I uh, would love to hear from you and would try and help. Um, so the short answer about the first party cookie update is don't panic. There's nothing you really need to do, but there is an early opt-in. Um, and I would strongly recommend you go and check those, uh, check your pixel, make sure it's all up to date and, and audit your config. If you need some help with that, you can find me at Tillerson or head to tillerson.co.uk or um, ask a question in the comments and um, we'll certainly try and help you. Um, if this has been helpful and just stopped you panicking a little bit, we'd love a thumbs up. 
um, and do subscribe for more tips on digital marketing and how to get the most traffic and sales through your website.